Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know my slogan. I don't know it all, but I know what I've been through. Now, before we get into this video, please make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at hookah anonymous underscore. We're able to be a little more explicit, a little more uncensored, and share content freely without running the risk of having our channel terminated. So, once again, Make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at hookah anonymous underscore. We're almost at 100,000 subscribers. So if you like this video, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell so you notify every time we drop new content. Now let's get into what you guys came here to see. Now, it's getting pretty intense out here, y'all. You got rappers wanting to fight YouTubers and guys putting money on the line just so they can fight on camera. Like I stated in the previous video, I never thought I'd see the time or day where it get that serious where rappers are offering to fight bloggers, <laughs> right? Just throwing it all away, man. However, I can understand that when you have someone constantly throwing dirt on your name, it can get annoying and sometimes people respond the only way that they know how, no matter what that is, even if it means you want to fight or whatever you wish to do. Now, in this case, I'm sure you guys have heard by now that Lil Durk and OTF affiliate THF Bezu have offered to fight YouTube bloggers King AK47 and Trenches News. Bezu offered to fight them both and willing to put up a $10,000 wager with gloves. And if they decide to do it without the gloves, he upped it to $20,000. Now, AK was the first to respond to it between him and Trenches News, and he openly accepted Bezu's challenge. He stated that he would gladly fight Bezu and mentioned how Bezu is way too small to want to fight him. AK would go on to say that Bezu would have a better chance trying to beat him up in a street fight than just maybe he might have a chance. But when it comes to boxing, he says he's too bigger than Bezu and he'll end up just beating Bezu in a match that wouldn't take him no more than two rounds. She, she's pretty confident. However, Trench's News, who was also called out, will respond a little later than AK, but he will have a whole different approach. Now, instead of agreeing to the fight, Trenches would sit there and antagonize Bezu, stating that Bezu and Dirk told on King Vaughn in that case that they had together, along with other cases that he claims Bezu have been a little shaky on. He would bring up a 2009 case that Bezu caught, where he says that Zu mentioned guys' names and whereabouts, which is pretty much snitching. But no one likes to bring it up because it's Bezu and he's affiliated with Lil Durk. He will also state that Bezu have lost about three fights, all stemming from jail, including one where he got his jaw broke or fractured or whatever, but he keeps acting like he's untouchable. Hmm. Now, I wasn't going to cover what Trenches had to say at first, being that he is who he is. And when it comes to the streets, I personally think that if you ever cooperated of any sort, then you shouldn't have any say so when it comes to street politics simple and it's because how can you determine anything about the streets when you openly cooperate it just don't make sense however he did mention a good point and as y'all know i always say pay attention to the message and not the messenger i always tell y'all that i'm not going to call anybody a snitch because in reality we don't have the proper confirmation to do so however when things don't make sense or add up then clearly where there's smoke there's fire now if we're going off logic Everyone would agree that the case between Dirk, Vaughn, Zoo, and Hellebans made no sense at all. I know there's paperwork that recently came out that's in Zoo's favor, but once again, I go off logic. Now, Trenches News did a video responding to Bay Zoo, and he simply said that anybody with sealed cases shouldn't be able to call anybody a rat because nobody can see their paperwork. So he's saying, how can you call anybody a rat when your paperwork can't be identified? And I can't lie, he makes absolute sense when you think about it. I just never thought about it from that point of view. Now, for one, when someone's case is sealed, that means that it was requested. The courts aren't just going to seal your case unless you request it. Now, I've seen that happen when you're like a YO, you know, when you're young, you're transitioning, and they close your old cases and they seal them up so you can have another chance at society, but not in this case. 
I'm talking about in this situation where if you have a sealed case, nine times out of 10, you had to request for it to be sealed. So the next question is why? What was in that case that made you go as far as getting your case sealed? And who told you that it'll be a good idea and for what? Now, like I said, we don't know what was in the paperwork. We don't know what's in that case. We don't know what was sealed, what was said, and, or why it was sealed. We don't know that. This is why I can't just come out and say, oh, this one snitched this, snitched that. But that's the point that's being made. The fact that we don't know. Now, for anybody that's been incarcerated and had to do any type of fed time, they know that as soon as you hit that facility and you get in that yard, you must produce your paperwork. This is due to guys wanting to make sure you don't have no crazy charges uh, so they could deal with you accordingly. Now, if you do have crazy charges and you told on somebody or one of them weird cases that, you know, I can't really say on YouTube, but they're going to make sure your life is miserable. They're going to try to get you out that 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 institution. They're going to try to make sure that you have a bad stay depending on your charges. But also, if you go to the feds and they see that your case is sealed, they're going to want to know why. They, why is your case sealed? And you're going to have to explain to them why. If not, you're going to have a very miserable stay. Then they still going to want to see it. <laughs> so knowing this and knowing the average person don't get cases sealed unless you're hiding something, it's kind of hard to like look past that. And honestly, if you're going to call someone a rat, it's best that you be transparent as well because technically it isn't fair. It's equivalent to throwing rocks and hiding your hand afterwards, you know? So that's my only take on it. If you've been tuned into the channel, you should already know how we feel when it comes to Bezu and Dirk on that case with King Vaughn. Um, we could only go off of what we see or what we're told and from the facts that we got from even the prosecutor. With the prosecutor blaming everything on Vaughn, it just don't make sense, man. But like I said in the previous video, this is a very old subject. But I did find it interesting when he said that calling someone a rat while you have sealed cases isn't fair because, you know, technically he's right. So, um, Trenches actually went on to flip Bezu's challenge and instead of fighting, he said he challenges Bezu to reveal his sealed charges for $10,000 instead. So, let's see what comes out of this. Once again, I don't got no bad blood with anybody, but there is some questionable things going on that do need to be addressed. Um, also, let's just see what comes out of this. King AK47, he says he wants to fight Bezu. To be honest with y'all, I doubt it's going to happen. Um, I just doubt it's going to happen. <laughs> if it does, I'll be surprised. But if it do happen, it got to be now. They can't have any time to think about it. They can't have enough time where they entourage to talk about it. Like, yo, you know, you, you're going to be throwing all this away or you're going to risk this. They don't need to be talked to. It needs to happen right now, but unfortunately, it's probably not going to happen like that because guys got to train and all that stuff, whatever the case may be. I think it should happen immediately, but let's see. Y'all jump in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. And remember, as long as you keep on watching, I'm going to keep on dropping. And I'm out.